Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm participating in our Christmas list collab with some amazing DIYers that include our host Leon Epp, DIY Beauty on Purpose, Lovin' Life's Journey DIY, Country Lily DIY Decor, My Lovely Moments Creating, and Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. The collab is fairly simple. We send each other little gifts like this. My gift is from Leon Epp and she included a list for me Two items are general items from the Dollar Tree and the third one I have to find in a certain department and I have to make one DIY with those three items. So let's see what I got. The gift that Lena sent me was the hat that's made by DIY Beauty. It is this gorgeous hot pink and you find this on her channel. You can see her wear it everywhere. This is so cute. So thank you so much. Lean up. I absolutely love my pink pink hat. Inside the card, I found a business card from Lean Up, then a sweet little note for me, and then my list. So here are the three items that I need to make my one DIY. I need a mirror, fabric, and placement. Let's get started. items that I was supposed to get. Here's the mirror. The next thing was fabric. For the placement, I found this beautiful teal one. What I decided to do is to give it two coats of some chalk paint. I cut out a piece of paper here. I'm just making sure that when I'm painting, I'm going right along and I don't have to worry about taping it or anything like that. And I'm just going to go all the way around and make sure that this mirror is coated really nicely in the first coat and then I'm going to go ahead and do the second one when this one dries. Next, I'm going to grab the placemat. I'm going to grab one of these vases from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to see where I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to go just a little bit above to hot glue it, you could definitely do it laying down. I'm actually going to stand the vase up. This is just to make sure my vase is going to be nice and straight. Now it's time to get the fabric. I'm just going to cut about an inch strip from the side here. I'm going to find my center, give it a little bit of hot glue, and then I'm going to put it in the back where the seam is, where I want my ribbon to go, which is going to be about one third from the top. Then I'm going to bring it around and tie it. I'm going to take the second piece of the fabric that we cut, and I'm going to make a little bow. Dab of hot glue there, bring it together. And then I'm going to take one of these little ornaments, and as you can see, they were $1.98 for six of them. I already used up two, and I got these at Walmart. Now I'm going to give a little bit of hot glue right there where we're going to attach the bow. And in the middle of the bow, I want to attach this, but there's a little string here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue the string to the back because I want to cut off the excess that's hanging at the bottom and then give it more hot glue. And I'm going to hot glue it straight to the center of the bow. Now I'm just cutting the tails. And because one of the tails is curling in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a little tiny wave and I'm going to give a little bit of hot glue just a tiny bit and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just kind of bringing it back a little bit. Just tiny, tiny bit. And this way it's going to stay in place and it's going to be symmetrical. Look how adorable this is. Now to bring it all together, I have my mirror, my vase, and by the way, look how adorable this came out. I love this. You can maybe put white flowers in here or you can do a little light. I thought the lights would be so cute. to be one of those wreaths that is 
quick, easy, and fun to make. We're starting with the Santa hat wreath form, and it's quite a large wreath form, and I got this one at the Dollar Tree. Next, I have some red deco mesh. For this type of wreath, I also like to use up that deco mesh that's a little bit loose, and you know it's not the best quality. Next, I have a little foam ball. I got this one at the Dollar Tree, and then a scarf. The last thing you will need besides hot glue is some zip ties, chenille stems, or floral wire. When attaching my deco mesh to my wreath forms, I usually like to do the number eight where I'm kind of weaving it in and out to each side and that way it's just nice and solid you know it's nice and secure this time I'm not going to do that because of this as you can see this wreath form has bars that are making the shape of the hat so when you start weaving this is going to show up what I decided to do is just wrap and we're just going to solidly wrap it around if you need to you can hot glue the actual deco mesh to itself or to the bars as we're moving along I'm going to be zip tying them as much as I can here and there to secure it in place and on top of that it's an easier technique grab a little zip tie and I'm going to tie it right here I wanted to show you where I connected it it's at the crossing right here and it's not going to go anywhere as we're bringing our decomage down and I'm just wrapping it just like it is don't make it too loose you want to make sure that all those edges the actual wreath form is not showing up as you can see as I'm coming around if I need to twist it I twist it because obviously it's not just going to go nicely especially over here where you have just narrowing going in and out so just twist it as you need to kind of seal that in I have my ending right here and I think if I didn't have this decomesh that's in such poor shape I would to finish this first section right here my second roll of deco mesh isn't that great either but the rest of my deco mesh is nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap my deco mesh as you see right here just overlap it one on top of another and then I'm going to attach it on this bar right here grab a zip tie zip tie them together no need to cut the excess because we want as much of that redness as possible so I'm just going to continue going around and I'm just going to grab the last of the deco mesh in my second roll and grab the deco mesh from my third roll zip tie it right here and then off I go going around and around I'm on my fifth roll and I'm about halfway done I think it'll take you four to five rolls just depending on the quality of the deco mesh you are using and then I'm going to grab my tail and I'm going to go inside the little hat and grab a piece of deco mesh grab it like this and then I'm going to zip tie one to the other and this way we can kind of hide the tail inside the hat all done when it comes to the red part of the hat to cover this part right here I'm going to use the scarf and the first thing I'm going to do is find the seams of the scarf it's really easy to take it apart once you kind of start the seam going after I got the seam I'm going to take about an inch from the beginning go to the beginning of the hat and measure to the end of the hat make sure you put it on on the part that's going up and then grab another inch or two it's always good to be safe rather than sorry when it comes to this here is the fuzzy part of our hat I'm going to flip it upside down and cut down the middle here I cut into the actual fur I'm going to show you how to repair that don't hot glue it onto each other that might be noticeable so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip a little bit of fabric from the side bring this little cut together and then put hot glue on both sides of it and then kind of use the fabric to bring the seam together here it is repaired you can't even tell where the seam was now I'm just going to lay my fur right over the hat and I'm going to push it in right here in the center the first thing you want to do is just bring the center together make sure you have the fur on this side and fur on the other side and then I'm going to cut it into right here you can bring this end in and right here when I'm hot gluing I'm making sure that I'm hot gluing only the back sides together not touching the actual fuzzy fur and I'm making little stripes here and of course the ends we're just bringing together and then at the end we're going to bring 
the sides in. Now I'm taking the little piece of the scarf that was left plus my little foam ball and I'm going to cut the foam ball in half. The little step with doing the foam ball is not necessary but I wanted the little dome on the actual top to be there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it and then just do some hot glue on the ends right here and now I'm going to make sure it's hot glued all the way to the edges that it's nice and solid to go in between the space i know that i need about an inch i'm going to cut about an inch so i can pull this through and now the rest of it i know that this sphere doesn't go all the way out but that's okay i'm just going to start hot gluing all of this fabric to the back starting with the edges and then I'm just going to continue opening it up and adding hot glue until it comes to a point where I can just cut off the excess. The last and final step here is to jazz up our little hat. Dollar Tree has a ton of fix you can use that would work. And then I have some from Joanne Fabric and from Michaels. It doesn't matter what you get as long as it works with your style and whatever decor you have at home. I decided to grab this pick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pine cone out. This one was originally $2.99. I'm going to grab the tail and fold it in half. Next, I'm grabbing a farmhouse poinsettia and this one I got for $1.48 at Walmart last year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp it right here. Just find a spot. I clamped it on one of my little branches, but you can definitely hot glue it, whatever works for you. Next, I grabbed the zip tie and put it through the thickest or the most secure part of my pick and I'm going to find where I want to place it and because I need to go through this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some tweezers go through the back and these are sharp tweezers you can use scissors whatever you have on hand and I fed it through the hole that I just made I'm just going to zip tie it it's going to stay in place open it up the way you want it and that's it for my Santa hat wreath to hang the Santa wreath, I'm grabbing a floral wire and I'm just grabbing a big chunk of the deco mesh in the back. And of course I grabbed it where I have the thickest part where I know it's not going to affect the look in the front. I'm going to twist it, loop it, and then just to loop it around and you have a great way to hang it. This wreath is not heavy. It's a very light wreath, so it should hold it in place. you enjoyed this video don't forget to click on the playlist link to see what the other participants in this collab did what they made with their projects what the list was that I sent out and the little gifts we gave to each other this is such a fun collab I hope you guys enjoy it let me know in the comments below if you would love to see more collabs like this but for now I think we're going to say bye because someone's getting a little sleepy and I will see you all in my next video bye bye my friends Mwah.